Yes. Here come the women. Here come, here come the women. That's right. Here we are. Happy Freedom Friday. Nobody in here but us women. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, we are, yes. Ah, oh. oh, we like to ball. <laughs> It's so, it, I, you know, every time, I've, every Friday I hear that song and it takes me right back to that place. Mm -hmm. I, you know, with the, I don't know what you used to call them, they were not tapestries, but those, um, oh God, they were like big pieces of cloth with Indian stuff on them and used to hang them from your ceiling. Oh yeah, I know what those are. I don't know what you call them either, but I know what they are. No, there were. I, I, uh, yeah, anyway. Oh, thank you, Gail. Oh, Gail? Oh, Gail knows how to send stars now. Oh, oh boom. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, usually when you go to a hippie's house, they had one of those hanging on their ceiling. Sorry. And incense going. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. it was uh, it was the time. No, oh, the children are saying it's very hot where they they are. See, it's like almost normal here because it doesn't get that cold, right. so we don't have to worry about. Well, you know. Yeah, we don't. Oh, thank you, Kitty. Oh, really? Yeah. Ba Boom. Uh huh. Well, no, I see. Now we're gonna have to have a. Thick... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Who creates this crazy shit? Uh, the you just oh, wait. Thank you, just, Gail. Just Gail again. <laughs> Gail? Uh -uh. Gail again. <laughs> that scare right. you? Just a little? Scare you a little bit? Okay. Um, so, let's see. What's up? I know. I, Wimbledon. Wow. Wow. I like to watch the tennis. I do. Yeah. And Mom's watching sports while Dad's doing his art. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? That's right. The only thing is, I don't drink beer while I watch the sports. <laughs> Thank God but, for that. Oh. For, on so many levels, thank God for that. And tomorrow is like the final, so. Yeah, it went fast, this one. That's because we only discovered it a few days ago. <laughs> oh, thank you, Brenda. <laughs> ah, children of the lawn. You must be mowing the lawn this summer. Yeah, you guys. Making some extra coinage. Mm -hmm. Mowing the lawns. Mowing the lawn. I mowed the lawn today. And yesterday, and the, and the law day won. before, the lawn won. <laughs> well, because our front, you know, just our front lawn, uh, we get up very early before it gets too hot. You see that we got to get up already. And I only do parts of it. Like well, one day, I'll do part of it for an hour, then I'll stop. Then the next day, I'll go back and do the part I didn't do and stop. So it takes like three days to do the front lawn. <laughs> But it's done. I it's keep telling done. her that she, she should use a lawnmower, but she won't listen. I like doing it with the scissors. What can I say? But, and it comes out nice. Oh, thank you, Sue. <laughs> oh, uh, no. Sue, we love your garden. Yes. We love all the daisies. We're having a star party. And you can never have too many daisies. No, you think. can never have too many daisies. No. Love the daisy. You're a daisy if you but do. But I did learn something from my gardening guru, Monty Don. He Monty. said that if you have seeds that are older than two years old, throw them away. And I have seeds that are like 10 years old, so maybe that's why some of the ones I sent to Sue didn't work. Uh, no. Because they're too old. No, she, you, what? I think they are you be. Are you saying that Sue sent you old seeds? No, I sent her old seeds. Wow. But is there I'm a name, there's a name for that. from the new ones that I'm planting. Oh, but I have a couple of zinnias from the ones that Sue sent. But on. those things are it's like, it's like the day of the triffids with those things. It's, it's this tall. 
Well, if you had other things around them, those were some I just scattered to be. No, like but what, what? Don't we have those in the front? Yeah, Sue has sold old seeds too. Okay, Sue. So we have to when we swap next time, we have to do it with our newer seeds. Yeah, date those seeds. And I'm saving every zinnia. I've learned about deadheading when flower starts to get like withered, cut it off, and then save it what? for your seeds, and more flowers will grow. So there you go. Yeah. Okay, all tip for the wise. Okay. So um. Let's see. Oh, everybody's saying they love Sue's garden. We do. We all love it. it right. We, I mean, come on. There's we nothing. had a couple of those um, mosaic balls in our yard, like she had. Mosaic you, balls. You pointed them out. You said, look, we had those. Yeah, those are, is that mosaic? I guess it is. Yeah. It's the little tiles. Little tiles, but it was. Those uh, freaking, the, the. Glass the, tiles. Colored glass. The, uh, what do you call it? The solar things. It let work for like a month, and then they, it's like they come, oh, look at all oh, you look. Can't wait for the sun to go down. Yes, the it's all bright and like this, and like three weeks later, you can't wait for the sun to go down. It's like so. I, I don't know. I don't know. What are you talking about? Talking about the solar lights. How long? The, how long they don't last? Well, the. That's because the last time we bought them, that was about six years ago. I think it's better technology now. Do your mosaic balls light up, Sue? Ours, did ours light up? Yes, ours lit up. Remember? She's having her own conversation over there. <laughs> I loved those I things. remember, yeah. yeah. They were nice for a couple of weeks. But I think the technology's better now. You do, huh? Based on what? What? Oh! <laughs> Based on what? What? Well, oh, hers don't light up anymore. <laughs> oh, maybe the technology's not better. Hey. Hey. How are hey. you? Hey, Lori. Hey, Steve. I uh, I almost forgot to change out my hoodle. I still have my burning oh. hoodle. Oh, you got see. that burning hoodle? Yeah, oh, no. no. I did. I, I put the fire out. I put the fire out. Did you did you see the the blazing hoodle? Uh, I should show you the blazing hoodle. We had one yesterday. No, this one. I'm talking about this one. <laughs> okay. Made all the bring good for. Oh God. <laughs> Uh, have any idea? They, they had bring good fortune and not a VD. I, I just got home from Warner <laughs> Brothers producing that piece. <laughs> you know, Joe and Bob <laughs> Who is it? Wait, wait. Um, the um, I, I, what was it? What was your sound man's name in Rat Race again? Yeah, Alan? a couple of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that designed the quad system and everything that Alan. built the cabins. Who is it that he used that he worked for before you guys? Bruce Insley, Bruce Insley or Warner Brothers? Oh, Warner Brothers he used to work for, right? Well, he yeah. was a head engineer in the Brill building, yeah. Wow, wow. And he left that to go work with you guys? Well, I think, actually, I think they fired him after he <laughs> was in for the weekend to record. Uh, oh, <laughs> but he was still your sound, man. Yeah, he was still our sound, yeah, I mean. Well, what about Don Warshbuck? Yeah, he quit to, to be a roadie. He heard them at sound check. He was at the 7 Eleven next door, heard them doing sound check, went over there and said, Man, this is the best band I ever heard, and quit his job at where? At uh, Media Sound, at a Media recording sound. studio. He to become Larry's roadie. <laughs> oh, you know, I bet. I bet you when we had that thing with Major Baby and we recorded at Media, the, the, um, the engineer, his name was Mark Milkman. Oh, and you he, said, if Don comes in, you got to ask him about that. Yeah, I yeah, I need. You know what? I didn't send him a, I didn't send him an email reminding him of tonight. So, uh, um, Don. Yeah, yeah. I Usually I send him a. Yesterday. Nope. There he is now. No, that's not him. All right. So we got to walk the base a little bit. Okay. Milkman. Oh, and now the smooth sounds of Mr. Booker King in the house. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, guys? What's uh, up, Booker? Uh, five minutes, Booker. No. <laughs> you got the coolest song, Booker. Yeah, that is the coolest song. But 
except you're the coolest one in here. So, so there you go. <laughs> oh, so Booker, Booker, wait. So I was, yes. telling, I was telling Steve, Franny and I tried this new church last Sunday. Mm -hmm. And this bass player that was in the band playing was just unbelievable. He was like from this, the school of James Jamerson or something. Real tall, skinny guy, probably in his late 80s or something. He's sitting on a stool playing a jazz bass uh -huh. through, through an SVT. But I found out later his name is Jeff Sticks Davis. Did you ever hear that name? The name Jeff sounds familiar. Yeah, he was uh, one of the founding members of the Amazing Rhythm Aces. Okay. Oh, plus, yeah. he played, plus he played with Miles Davis. He played with all these big names. I, I couldn't believe it. This guy was just unbelievable. He was great. Just what a feel. But anyway. Oh, star of the show. So that means you're going back to the church just to watch him play, right? That's <laughs> right. That's, that's right. Everybody's yeah. got to get the message their own way. That's right. That's it. Well, I, I got I got to go see if I can audition to play bass, and we'll, we'll have to see. He's the star, Angus. I don't think you're replacing him. No. <laughs> That's him. Oh, okay. But, hey, Donna, hey, how you Hey, what's up, Tom? Hey, Booker. Hey, Angus. Hey, Steve. Doing, hey, Laurie. Hey. Children of the Lawn. Now what? Are you in the red light district? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was last night's show. Ooh. It's oh, that's Jonas place. Brothers for uh, uh, <laughs> Northwell Health's gala, summer gala. Oh, really? Who was it? Jonas Brothers. Oh, okay. Jonas Brothers. I got I can't. <laughs> I can't. I know all that's, their names. I'll bet that was a good gig. Oh, uh, let me pull up a better picture i don't yeah. know any of their songs i know cake by the ocean nope that's that's jo not them that's, not <laughs> that's, the, that's, that's not a solo them. by joe jonas oh. not the brothers how many times i gotta tell you okay. that but they played it last night uh -huh. they? yeah <gasps> yeah oh. they aren't exactly you know it's like of all the like boy bands it's like they're really successful and i can't tell you one song me <laughs> I can't either. No. Nope. No, no. Nope. And in the and in the wedding band, we tried their songs and they go over like lead balloons. Because <laughs> nobody else knows them either. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, you know, I tell you, I no hits. you got to think about it. I, I wonder if they they have to be like, that's got to screw them up that they have to be that. Well, they have to be together. They have they to can't be that. Make it on they, their own. They, yeah. They just go out uh, and and. Ah, uh, oh, Lenny in the house. No, that'd be mousy. Mousy, mousy sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mousy. Hey, mousy. Hey, 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 mousy. hey, hey. Anyway, we're talking about your favorite band. Uh, it's got to be <laughs> tough to be, you know, to be stuck into that. Thing because you have, I mean, it's not like all of a sudden you're going to come out like with long hair and bell bottoms and the well, Joshua well, Light show. It's got to be the Jonas Brothers. That's not true. Look at Graham Nash. He was in the Hollies and yeah. then he went to Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Right. That's when there were like 12 bands in the world. Well, but it happened. Right. And they uh, still sang, at Crosby, Stills, and Nash, they still sang really pretty harmonies. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful harmonies. Um, they just did. They just did a whole lot more drugs that we know of. Yeah. Yeah. You know. yeah. Have you seen their documentary? Um, what is it called? Fifty. Uh, fi uh, fifty by four or something. Fifty like by that. four. Oh my gosh. Wow. Talk about it. they are putting the D in dysfunction. Yeah. <laughs> well, you could see it throughout a lot of things when you know yeah. they're. I mean. It, publicly, <laughs> there were plenty of throwdowns, especially well, the, between David Crosby and you yeah. Know. The David Crosby doc is is interesting. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's heavy. Because Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young, they all fought with each other individually. Yeah. All right. So let me let me ask you, let me ask you this, because I've been in you know I I guess when we started right, 
you were in fran in bands with your friends right I, isn't that mm -hmm. kind of way yeah it, pretty much yeah, that's right? how it all started oh, you do this you do um and so to me being in a band was always based on that kind of gang of you know us against the world that whole thing right but then when you're 13 or 14 it's a lot different than when you're 30 or 35 and everybody's become this well when you have that me mega success <clears throat> and you're bound together by that and like the mm. eagles or or maybe even the, the beatles yeah. yeah yeah but the beatles they weren't they didn't do it for that long yeah but you we know, just saw that, a thing that, about george harrison uh yeah, like it's having a thing uh he was didn't like paul no that's what it said everybody liked he didn't paul. like paul because paul would tell <laughs> i like paul <laughs> well but okay but then you have to ask yourself the question was he right because if george played what he told him to play and the song was a smash would it have been that if he, I, you know, I don't know. I wasn't there. And Ringo and, quit at one point because it was too focused on Lennon and McCartney and they had to beg him to come back and put flowers on his drums when he came wait, back. Wait, they had to beg Ringo to come back? Yep. They yeah. had to beg Ringo to he come back. He couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And Paul, wow. the boss, even over John Lennon. Well, I know that in that uh the disney thing that they did uh, the get back thing yeah that they had that that conversation with paul and john where it was just a microphone stuck in it they neither of them knew it yeah. was there. Yeah. And yeah. It, it was very clear that yeah. john the alpha very oh clear. yeah 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 <laughs> yeah yeah hi joe hi hey, guys joe. hey joe hey everyone and right before that you know right before they had that meeting it was John and Yoko doing one of those crazy things where she's screaming and he's just playing something and he, they're both high as hell. And then they have a meeting and it's like, John is as high as we think he is. <laughs> well, wouldn't you kind of have to be? But I mean, that, I can't, I know the, you know, if you think of the ramp in our careers, um, I can't imagine that getting to that point that fast. You know what I mean? There's another thing to be like the Bee Gees and have the thing grow over time or whatever. But that was just like, blam, and all of a yeah. sudden that. So my question is this. If you had your choice between being in a band with guys that you were friends with, or being in a band with guys that you were strictly in the band because of the playing, which one would you choose? That's easy for me. Go ahead, Bouncy. The question beyond that, though, is when you're saying strictly in the business of playing, are they assholes? Or are they like, you know, is there like strife among those people that are strictly in the business to play? Uh, I don't, I mean, come on, I'm, I can't pick your band for you, but I'm just, no, no, but I'm just saying well, if that was the, the choice, you, then. Would you rather do things on like a more professional level, like we're going to rehearse every Thursday from two to six, and then, you know, we'll do this? Or would you rather be like, hey, man, come on, let's go get some burgers? Yeah, that's a hard one. No, which one I choose. <laughs> that's the one you choose. <laughs> no, that's not the one. I, the one I choose is the one that where the playing It's to me, that's that's that life's blood for me is the point, you know? So my friends, you know, I've, I've played with friends. I'm still friends with them. Do I play with them? No. <laughs> yeah, okay, but all right, let's just say, let's not even, uh, forget about the relate. Wow, I don't have, all I got is this. That's, uh, I think it's Zoe. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's been a minute. It's been more than a minute. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. my God. Oh, look. Wow. Double far. trouble. Yes. <laughs> hey guys. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hello and hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> How are you all? Hello. Good. Good, Good Zoe. Great. Who's the one in the middle? Well, this guy. <laughs> 
I don't know. He's just a guy that turned up at the house. Yeah, right. <laughs> Can you look in what your ring camera said, first? Yeah, he wants food. Is that his rabbit behind you? <laughs> now that's that's yeah. What is that's that? Topsy. Oh. Oh wow! It's playing with the a fish. painting of her dog. That's one of my paintings. I didn't realize uh, it was there. Really. Sorry. <laughs> where, where's the camera? We were just. I'm not sure. Where's the camera? Uh, over there. We don't know what we're looking you. at here. <laughs> there. Ah, there. Oh. Got it. You were. We were just talking about if you were to put a new band together, would you want it to be totally professional, just with guys that? Were you there for the music, or would you want to be in a band with friends? Or let all the playing is equal, so on and so the forth. The money is would equal. You, it, it, the vibe is equal. in the band. Would you want to be in one of those? Hey, let's go to. Wait, the, movie. the playing is equal, so the competency of the musicians yeah. is the same. Oh, yes. friends. Say money and be just as popular. Friends. That's a no-brainer. Why? Yeah, would you friends. You know what? And, well, for me, I want to be around guys that I like, and I'm going to have fun. Mm -hmm. you know? Well, you I'd know, have to be groupies, so it's got to be yeah, friends. Yeah, you could be the group. I've, I've kind of done both where it was guys that I didn't have any relationship with other than the playing ability. And then there was, you know, where it was a bunch of us that really knew each other well. Um, at some time with both sets, I wanted to kill everybody in their sleep with a ball-peen hammer. <laughs> both ways. So, you know, it's it's like, you know, just pick your poison because there's going to be a time when you hate everybody. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's what my husband said to me once. He says, I just want to look across the stage and not hate every motherfucker I'm looking at. <laughs> <laughs> and one of them is his brother. So, it was like, well, but, you, you know, know, it does. It grinds you down sometimes and it makes mm -hmm. you, you know, there's a lot of drama and dynamics that go on. You know, sometimes it is easier with people you don't know because you don't have any backstory of, you know, like any drama or history or issues in the past with those people. So now there's nowhere. Well, yeah, but but when you find out when you find out two weeks down the road in frickin Memphis that your roadie has a different name for himself when he gets drunk. Right. That happened to Steve. <laughs> but he yeah. was not a friend. And you didn't <laughs> Not my friend. And he wanted to. He wanted to fight Steve. <laughs> wow! Well, don't we all? He would, he would get drunk and he wanted to fight me every night because he had he had heard I get I was the biggest one in the band and he, Booker. I'm sure you've come against the cage challenge, and and this freaking idiot. I, when he would like, turn into the he, other name, he would turn into Coy. His who, yeah. and he would be Coy. Come on. Come yeah, on, Coy. Man. Yeah. Let's Coy. go out and uh. Wrestle. Yeah. C O Y or K O I? I don't know. <laughs> it's like a fish. I try not to get that close. That, and, and this, I mean, it was a. Oh my on, God. On, man. Let me see what you got, Longo, man. Come on. Come on. Let's see what oh, you got, shit. man. Oh, so, God. We're on, I, on, I think, uh, you know, you also, people that you didn't have a relationship with. Jeffrey. Yeah, yeah. After a while, you wind up having relations. You know, if it's. If yeah. if the music is really positive, you wind up liking people. Yeah, yeah. Of you know, yeah. And, and it shouldn't be that shallow, but it is. Wait, where are you <laughs> from? What band? Uh, what? What band was he a roadie for? For me, what, before Coy, you. Are you talking about? Before you. For Jesse James Dupree. Yeah, whatever band he was in. The um, the guy with the chainsaw. Not Wendy O. Williams would be a jackal. jackal. He was a roadie for Jackal. Oh, Jackal. Okay. Okay, so that kind of tells you something. And he would get so, and, but I mean, always on time, always did his job amazing. And then never. Got drunk. And the minute it was over, boy, it was like someone stuck something in his neck and he turned into so coy and it was Steve just... called his bluff he said yeah okay. so i said to him, so, he, every night he wanted to every fight night Steve. every night come on man let's see what you got <laughs> so one night we're on, on printer's though. alley i think or, or, or memphis or beale street well some one memphis. of the yeah. one of those places and he said to me come on longo man let's come on come on tonight's the night i said you know what thanks the night 
Let's go. <laughs> I said, why don't we go over there to that parking lot? See where they tore that building down? Let's go over there because, like, there's probably got to be pipes and, <laughs> and bricks, and we could beat the shit out of each other, man. Yeah. Like, Let's go. And he was like, <laughs> all kinds of rebar man. you could probably kill one <laughs> you ever hit a guy with one of these he never wanted to fight yeah. yeah that was it that was the end of it sometimes you got a guy was a roadie was a yeah. roadie for you yeah. it was he was no who, who's roadie? well he was for he was on my tour it was who did he roadie for uh, guitar roadie was it Leslie? No, no, no. I thought it was Ant Whistle. Was it not Ant Whistle? He's got a record company now and a management company and all kinds of stuff down in Florida, down in uh, Atlanta. Who does? Jesse. Oh, Jesse. I know. No, yeah. that's not who we're talking about. No. Though. We're, he, he he was, was a roadie. roadie. This guy was a roadie for, for Jackal. Jackal. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, Steve, you just reminded me of something. Um, so you know how Foamy came back to Todd, right? Well, my friend Frank, who's their guitar tech, he was going out with Daryl and and Todd, and um, he said he put something on Facebook, and I said, "Oh, I was so happy to see Foamy back in Todd's hands again." And he goes, "Guess what? The airline lost Frosty." Who did? Foamy? No, his other guitar, Frosty. <laughs> they lost his other guitar. Who lost it? The airline. The airline. Oh, well, wow. he was his favorite. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, it was funny. I played a video the other night of, and he was playing Foamy. So, well, did, they'll get it back, right? Yeah, oh, it's hopefully. Well, you don't know. I guess so. Who the hell knows with what's going on with the airlines? Honestly, at this point, everybody's delayed, misdirected, you know, laying over in the wrong places, not getting to where they need to go. Half the country's underwater, the other half is under fire, and then there's maybe like 1% that's just suffering through tornadoes up around like, you know, <laughs> Illinois. So, like, and, you know, I'll tell you the truth. We, you know, we were talking true. about all the global warming and all that stuff. You know, we have those conversations. Do we want to stay here? We've had three in this house. We've been through three major hurricanes and blah, 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 blah. And then we you look start the looking the around, <laughs> like, where are you going to go? Yeah, where the hell yeah, are you going? There's nowhere to go, bro. There's <laughs> nowhere. You can't run your karma. No. So in 10 you years, can't... New Jersey will be like Florida. Yeah. I'm not kidding. If they keep going the way think... they're going in 10 years, Florida? New York like, and New Jersey will be like Florida. We'll have to move up to, like, Antarctica to yeah, have food. Yeah, come to Antigua. Come to Antigua. Antigua's nice. Yeah, you're hey. close to the equator. It's going to be uninhabitable there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, no, but it's they, just they weather. Have, you're going to be French fries. They have those Do you see the, the, the temperatures in Phoenix, Arizona were like 116, 115. My son's there. Day, yeah, and my night, girlfriend lives there. At like 3 o'clock in the morning, it was 90. 18 days in a row in triple digits, <laughs> like over yeah, 110. I, Normal weather here. Yeah, it's like We're, it's like just a couple of degrees like too hot for us. Same. It's just like ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's 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 ninety seven instead of ninety three. Right. Yeah. Well, the amount of floods that they're having up in the northeast, it's crazy. A woman got washed away. I know. I know. I, in, yeah. the Valley, in the Hudson Valley. In the Hudson Valley. In the Hudson Valley, and the train. I mean, it's, it's nuts. What's going? I. You know, look, it's just weather. This happens all the time. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> well, we don't have floods. The temperature stays around 90. We don't have train strikes. Do we have train strikes? We don't have trains. We don't have trains. <laughs> well, thank God they don't have train strikes. That would be so We had, we had a pretty good earthquake trains. the other day. We had a pretty good earthquake the other day. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's all. What was it that was only like? a few seconds. Yeah, only a few it, it seconds. felt like it was long, but it was probably You're about by Montserrat. Months. Think about what it. What about it? We You're by Montserrat. They had yeah, that was years ago. That yeah, was years ago. The, the, the volcano. They also had a volcano that destroyed the, most the of the volcano. Was a thing. Yeah. yeah, that was in the 90s. Montserrat is a funny island because when it's clear, you can see it from you know where we're at, at the beach. Yeah. But it's always in clouds. It's like wow. that 
It's like the King Kong Island. That's what yeah. I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's there, but you never see it. And that was years and years ago. So it really? could be ready for another one. Yeah. Guys, we're going to bail out because dinner's ready. He's hungry. Yeah, I'm Have really hungry. Great dinner, guys. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, dinner. Shout out. Who is this guy? Oh, you, Lenny, 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 wait, wait, wait. Lenny, that little dog, Wolfie, that y'all posted the picture of, did it get adopted? No, not yet. Oh, that thing's so but cute. Where in Florida it. is it? It's in Florida. I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know exactly where in Florida it is, though. I reposted but he it. Was adopted. We rescued him here, my, me and my friend Kat, and he was a great dog. And we fly a lot of rescues out, and they love the dog, and they had another dog, and now some kind of family emergency and health scare happened, and they can't keep him. So I'm trying to find somebody in Florida. To, he's adorable. He's the sweetest thing. Well, let us Just, know where in Florida. Yeah, let us know where he is in Florida. Yes. I will yeah. find out for him. We will try to he's very out. sweet. He's oh, a great dog. Horrible. I would have killed him. Yeah. We love him. He's okay, so guys. Good. All right. Have All right, a good have day. Have yeah. Yeah. Bye now. And let us know, Gabrielle. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Oh, speaking of Bon Appetit, Mousy, I've been thinking of you all afternoon. Really? Oh, and Booker, I've been thinking about you for a couple of days, but I'll let Laura go first. I'm making, <laughs> I'm making lasagna, and I know you took cooking lessons in Italy, uh -huh. so I'm sure you know how to make lasagna. You probably knew how before you went to Italy, but it just made me think about you. Oh, thanks. I love making lasagna. It's it's very zen because okay. it's very you know there's like the layers and everything and the way you arrange everything. I, I that's I really get comfort from cooking as much as I get comfort from like making sure all my mic cables are, are wrapped the right way. <laughs> there's wow, something very OCD. Oh, you think? Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. There's a right way to wrap them. <laughs> well, depending on you know, any are given you, day. <laughs> are you over under or Randy Randy? Oh uh, no, over Randy, under. Randy Randy is the only way. <laughs> well, Randy Randy in the studio, but over under when I'm like out. Okay, yeah, well, so know. Booker, now it's my turn. I'm okay. stamping this guy to death on the corner. At, no, <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> uh, I'm out doing my ranch and stuff around the property, right? You know. And there's still stuff from uh, the hurricane. From the hurricane. We have this, uh, this amazing tree. I don't know where it came from, some other place. And it's nice. And it's just, it's you huge. know, it, it stands for tree. And it's uh, probably a like a 500 pound limb broke, but it was just suspended in the middle of the, you know, in the nest of big branches. Mm -hmm. And so over the months, it's died, right? So, you know, I can move it a little bit. Right? Uh -huh. Hopefully, you know, it'll break and they'll come yeah, fall no, out of the tree. Yeah, no, we got to get a chainsaw. To, and, we have a chainsaw. And, man, but... I tell you what, I, it let go, but it didn't go the way I thought it was going to go. And I got, I felt like I got slammed by a dinosaur. <laughs> and I know how to fall. I, you know, I mean, I, yeah. I know how to fall and how to roll out of a fall and i am as limber as i could be you know for my for my age i i stretch every day but the the top of your quads yeah. have, what's what do they call the groin one the gr uh, gr gristleus gristleus we call dr larry the major the major latissimus retractor is like oh i i must have hyper extended my leg like the wrong way you know when those yeah. people try and man it was like uh, horrifying two days ago and i'm thinking oh, still hurting yeah well, yeah but it's, it's it didn't bruise it didn't tear i called larry um and it's better like we i couldn't i could right not lift i sit i sit and rest yeah. I that's, what, that's what the doctor said. It, sitting in a chair, right, and your foot's flat on the ground, I could not lift my foot off the ground yesterday. Ooh, wow. 
Yeah. You did a but number there, again, bro. But yeah. Yeah. I stood right away. Yeah, but I b- believe me, I've been I've been hurting myself forever. And about some <laughs> kind of like missile <laughs> pain cream. Yeah, we had the, yeah. So I mean, and it's it's almost I think another couple of days and it should be. Uh, but boy, it just man. Larry said yeah. About yeah. But yeah. give yourself some give yourself some time and just yeah. Rest yeah. because Larry also said it's twice stop doing that long to recover now. Yeah. yeah, the trick about that is you feel good after a couple of days and then you start doing stuff and then it's like, oh shit, here it's back yeah. again. And you know. then it takes that much longer. So you really kind of have to that's let it you feel like just how old you are. I'll <laughs> tell you why I'll tell you why it, I think it happened. It, it, and it because like I said, I'm I'm pretty freaking limber. And uh but there's no exercise to imagine how can i explain it it's it's really like if you tried to bend your like your gonna... leg behind you you know it's 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 like it's it pulled okay, it was like a hyper extension of my leg the wrong way because the thing came down on me so fast that before i could roll out of it it like made that's hard to explain but it was, how's the tree doing now What's that? How's the tree doing? Tree's fine. Yeah, and the limbs. <laughs> <still in it. laughs> Tree's fine. Dog ran like hell. Yeah, uh, he, he told him, "Get out of here, Remy." Get I'm out of here. here. Okay. <laughs> but no, the, but we are going to have to get our uh, chainsaw to cut it out because Steve could not pull it out. Man, it was horrifying that thing. And, and I'm low on the lawn, not even knowing this happened. He could have been like, you know stabbed by the tree trunk by the limb and i wouldn't have even known it that's oh, when you need your can. life alert yeah well i do i, I have it it's either. called an iphone a tree has fallen and i can't get up <laughs> <laughs> that's well, it I tell you those spotted lantern bugs they've taken out they've taken out my magnolia oh um one of my japanese maples oh and it's and they're and they're on the other Japanese maple now. We have a big tree in the backyard, and I hope it doesn't go for that one because if that comes down, it will take out at least four fences. Shit. Oh, yeah, man. I, I remember we had a one of those big rainstorms, and a neighbor a couple of houses away, their tree came down right across the yards. And it took out three three fences. Wow! We yeah. lost a few and million it, pine trees in Lake Arrowhead to uh, Japanese pine bark beetles. It was, it was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, we had some kind of pine beetles down here years ago that took out a bottle because we have we slash pines, yeah. and man, yeah, they're like almost all gone. Yep. <clears throat> That's why I have ten thousand birds in my yard. Are yeah, us too. We, we don't have a bird here and birds everywhere. And there's thousands of birds now. Like my, Michael just said to me the other day, are there pigeons in our yard? And I'm like, yeah, I don't know where they came from because there's no pigeons around here. But um, yeah, just to keep the bugs away because yeah. it's, you know, I can't control them and I don't want to be spraying crap all over the place. The guy I next door to me has one, like a I baby and he's spraying Roundup the, all over. I tried to step on one of the neophytes. And oh, you can't. You, I, you have can't, to can't get them fast as hell. Yeah, you have to like get them. I forget. There was this one little girl who figured out like, yeah, you have to like throw a cup on them basically That's because the they're they're so lady. fast. They, whoa, 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 whoa! What whoa, is a whoa. neophyte? I said neophyte. I, I, is that, that not a Greek myth? What is that? It's, it's the babies. It's the babies. Yes. What? We were it's attacked by the neophyte. Yes, that- it's before they turn into the moth. <laughs> oh. Wow. oh, so it's not like a caterpillar. It's a no. It's it's a it's a bug. Yeah, it's just I I I don't know. Thank God, so far nothing around my area. But I know last year where Michael works in Jersey City, they actually had to like stop traffic because they were swarming like even light poles and stuff. They were just there were so many of them. That yeah. they were spraying the streets and stuff. And, you know, I hate that shit. I don't want that poison around. But no, then what's no, your other no. choice? Lose all the trees? So no, start feeding the birds so you have more birds to eat them. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Chow down on us, hogs. Yep. 
Did you have the mosquito truck when you were a kid and came down the street? Running after it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For sure. That was <laughs> now, if your neighbor on the other block uses Roundup, you want to, like, kill him. Yeah. That was DDT they were spraying. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. I was driving home from the Jersey Shore on Route 35 before the parkway was built. And the truck used to come right <clears throat> up the middle of the highway as we were driving up. No air conditioning in the car. Windows open. Windows down, right? <laughs> <laughs> ah, good times. Yeah. yeah. Good, good times. I had a friend that. Yeah. I had, I had, I had a friend who was... Booker can see them. Oh, we're supposed to put our pastures oh, up. Oh, okay. I, I, yeah, I, because I, Booker leaves right at eight. And, um, okay. So let's put our pastures up. Okay. Mm. Oh, I bet somebody, I bet there's going to be a few of the same. You think? I Who's think. going first? Draw! <laughs> oh. Mac and cheese! Oh, <laughs> Mac and, it's National Mac and Cheese Day. Woo! <laughs> All right. But like that's that. only the first one I had. That was the first one. That's great, Booker. Steve has a couple of hippies behind him. This was the day that they released Easy Rider in 1969. Can you see that? Oh, look at that. It's, it's, the 30, it's the 35th anniversary of the release of Cult of Personality. What a what? great record. Does that, does that make you feel old or what? It really does, because <laughs> I remember doing a, a show, that show at uh, World Stage up in New City or something. In, uh, <laughs> Wait, oh, was oh, part oh, of that. Oh, I... I was an owner. I owned. I named that place. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. That That's was a crazy. horrifying chapter of mine. <laughs> yeah, I thought I wanted. I, I designed that. You you remember the venue? Uh, totally. I designed that whole freaking place with the what was it called? IP World, World Stage. Stage. World Stage, Stage in a, in New City. Was it yeah, New by City? Yeah. 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 And. Uh, Oh man, it was an old movie theater, and we left the balcony, right? Because you yeah. go up the balcony and you watch the shows. Downstairs was like it was kind of like a giant china club. There was a VIP yeah. Open area, floor, and then yeah. And, and my office was the projection room. It was freaking unbelievable. But he had partners. But in yeah, it. I had partners in it. But we had, the problem with it was there was no place to build a dressing room. We had to have you know buses or. RV. And the partners were assholes. And the partners were freaking. Okay, well, Mousy, that, that was got? kind of a tough neighborhood. Yeah. Too. Mm. Mousy, For... is it National French Friday? Yes, ma'am, it is. Uh huh. Is it Mac and Cheese Day? Both. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's both. Day too. But you know what, though? The thing is, if the mac and cheese is made well, every day is mac and cheese. <laughs> yeah, and that's all you need in this world, bro. That's all you need. <laughs> okay, now Joe, you look like you got I uh, heard, Michael yeah. McDonald or somebody. No, that's Clapton. That's Clapton. no, it's not. It's Clarence White. Oh, Clarence White from the Birds and the oh. B Bender Wait guitar. A well, what did you do, Clarence White from the Birds? Yes, guitar player, lead guitar player. Wow, you never heard of him. And and the, and uh, the drummer invented the B Bender guitar, later used by a lot of. I mean, Jimmy Page used the, Page a B Bender. It. And um, so that is now Marty Stewart plays that now. So I've I've worked with a guitar. I never worked with Clarence White, but mm. um, he was killed loading his amp into his car. Some drunk driver hit him outside of a club on oh. this day in 1973. Wow. 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 And that looks like a DeLorean behind Tom. Yeah. yeah it's to take you to the pasture wherever you want to go. <laughs> oh, ah, nice. Nice. I see. Aren't you clever? There was a lyric. You had more to hide than the trunk of a DeLorean. <laughs> okay. What you got then, going on there, Jeffrey? And, All right, here we go. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Jeff oh, has some yeah. Beatles stuff. Yeah, we got, we're saving the Beatles for last. Okay. Billy the Kid was, was shot, shot and yeah, killed. By Pat Garrett. I almost went for that one. Wow. Yeah, That's if you believe he was really killed, because, you know. If you he watch was... Young Guns, then he's still alive. <laughs> and he was from he Hell's, was from Hell's Kitchen. Kitchen. Yeah. He was from New York. Yeah. Really yeah. A kid. And he was good friends with Emilio Estevez, I hear. <laughs> good friends. With... <laughs> That's where Charlie got his... You know. That's where Charlie got Charlie. And Jeff. And Jeff. Today, they started recording this album. 
in 65. Wow. Oh my God, like so long ago. 65. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Did they have 65. cars back then? It's so crazy. Um, and it's so, you know, that's, I've thought about that over the years, you know, that's sort of, if you're, if you're going to be in this industry, you know, there's got to be goals or things that, you know, you, so when you judge yourself by the success of that band, um, it's like that just, that whole thing astounds me what they went through. And the thing that I found uh, because I I got over the Beatles and into the fusion stuff in the 70s. Um, but the thing that I found is, uh, so astounding about them is what they did under such limited circumstances. Right? Just talk about God. innovation. Incredible. Incredible. Mm-hmm. Funny because when you say, when I say, I'll say to Alexa at certain times of the day, play this, play that. And I said, Alexa, <clears throat> play prog rock. So, you know, here comes some, yes, and some ELP and tall and stuff like that. And then comes um, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. And I'm thinking, well, does this really fit? And then I'm listening to it. I'm like, fuck yeah, it does. It totally does. Talk about progressive. Ah, that was, yeah, yeah, they were way in it, man. Mousy's hanging with Mrs. Davis. Yeah, yeah, Mousy's hanging with Uh Mrs. Davis. That's all right. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, the, the thing about the way all that stuff happened, I, I was in I was in Guitar Center the other day, which is like a whole, it's like Costco for music, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, and I'm talking to this kid, and I won't go into the whole, whole thing about it, but we were talking about, um, I don't know, we were, we were talking about the, the whole retail department and what everybody, how different it is from how different it was. You know, I remember in our, in my town before there was Century Music, which eventually became Sam Ash, but Hunt's Music, which was a record store, had three guitars, two guitars and two electric guitars and a bass. Wow. And it was yeah. Like, That's weird. Yeah. Well, yeah, and everybody was, would go and look at them, right? Yep. Yep. Try well, them we out. Used, yeah. We used One to day take, I'm gonna buy this. We oh, took yeah. the used to take the bus because we heard that Bill's uh music store in, in, in Getty Square yeah. in Yonkers had a a, a a Rickenbacker, a blonde one. And we got on the bus and rode all see it, right? Yeah, had to go see the, yes, guy, would, it the guy wouldn't let us in the store. Thank you. You know, thankfully it was in the window, but it well, was you were just little kids. Yeah, we were like 13 or whatever. Craziness, man. It was like yeah, yeah. Yeah. yesterday. <laughs> yesterday was was the anniversary of Live Aid. Yeah, I saw that. I was in Philly uh, at that wow, one. Wow, Live Aid. Yeah. Nobody did the most obvious one. It's best deal. Best deal day, but it is so obvious. So yeah. Yep. Yeah. See, yeah. Everybody's yeah. Gonna be it's so obvious. Plus, we don't care about the French people. Yeah. Now, did anybody see earlier in the week that uh, Jerry Ash passed away? He was 98 years old. Yeah. Oh, Can you oh, believe yeah. that? 98 Actually, Larry years Harkey old. and I were talking about that the other day. Yeah. He said, he goes, I never thought he was going to die. <laughs> I was Sammy's dad. Wow. <laughs> that's wow. Yeah. yeah that's true. Who was it? Jerry uh, Ash. His father Jerry actually Ash, is yeah. the one that Sam his father. Sam Ash. Yeah. His father, yeah. Sam. No, Sam. Mm. was Jerry. Jerry's father. Jerry father. was 93. Right. Jerry's father was Sam. Yes. Oh, wow. I just got a message from Don. Uh-oh. How's he doing? It's, it's, at the beginning of the show, I texted him. I said, you coming on tonight? He just texted me and he said, shit, missed it. <laughs> oh, well. oh well there's always next week yeah there's always yeah, yeah. i wouldn't have even been here tonight except uh unbrothers gig got rained out well it, i don't know if it technically got rained out but we called the show at like eight o'clock this morning because there's just been they've been forecasting you know fire brimstone frogs locusts you name it we're getting it so you just don't know at any given moment where my wife going on. my wife canceled like movies in the park like like yesterday she did it because according to the weather it was supposed to rain from like five yeah. o'clock 
right on it. Yeah. And it really has just drizzled here. It well, and this morning yeah. you saw what happened in Central Park, right? What? They, what? That that kid from BTS, there was a million people waiting to see this kid. From, like some people literally camped out for three, four days yeah. to get into Central Park and like five minutes in a downpour, which maybe lasted, I don't know, like I heard it here in New Jersey, it thundered and it rained for maybe five minutes. But that was enough that everybody that was waiting, you know, they were there and the guy started and everybody just bolted out of there. That's because the people that were there for three days, the Lord decided they needed a shower. Enough shop. of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I was telling somebody um, yesterday, I used to work at the Meadowlands Fair for 20 days in a row. We'd work at the Meadowlands Fair. We had the stage set up and we, you know, had our PA in there and whatever. And inevitably... During the course of those 20 days, there'd be a couple of like real downpours. I fired over a Dolly Parton and Miley Cyrus song. A Wisconsin teacher says she was fired. The hell was that? I don't that know. Was, that was me. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Oh, <laughs> you know, we would tarp everything up and we'd, you know, we'd go through it all. And the the worst part of that was when that rain would come pouring through the Meadowlands carnival parking lot whatever the hell it was the fair parking lot everything would be like washing under the stage popcorn and people's oh, cups wow. and god only knows what you'd see like baby's bottles <laughs> like everything under the sun i remember <laughs> one of the other sound guys looks at me and i ha must have had this look on my face and he said mousy what's wrong and i go I have carnival water on my feet <laughs> it's, oh. it's <laughs> disgusting <laughs> oh, yeah don't miss those days, but yeah, that's what it is when it rains, of oh. course. Wow. How so, you doing, John? Nice to see you yeah, out of bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thanks for taking us out to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, no, <laughs> well, don't be sorry. What are we having? We're having um, tonight. We got mezzo rigatoni Ooh. with with Vinny's appalling uh, marinara sauce, and I sauteed up some cabbage and onion with a little bit of white balsamic vinegar and just stuck it in a pot, you know, stuck in a pan, do it all together, a little, little parmesan on top. I tell you, I'm, I'm living the dream. Perfecto, right? Nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Manja. Yeah, manja. <laughs> so, uh, well, any plans this weekend, anybody? I have a gig tomorrow night. We'll see. Fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, another Where are the Young Brothers going to be, Mousy? Um, in uh, Tolman State Park. It's like right over the border, kind of around like the area of uh, North Northern Bergen <laughs> County there. So right around that area, you know, where Route Nine and everything is. But not to be. And uh, I was pretty disappointed because the original Un Brothers, as they were. The one guy left, the guy who sang Zeppelin really well, um, John Alden, he left and he's back with them. And it was going to be, so I was really psyched. It's like my favorite band to mix at this point. So I was I was a little disappointed, but I, I have a good band tomorrow night too. So you just take it as it comes. Please, weather gods, be kind. I just wait, I just wait for the drummer to do Hocus Pocus. That's the best. I know, right? Hocus pocus. It's that high focus. note, man. It's like and he sings uh, it like he sings it. Oh, yeah. spot on. Spot on. Really? It's amazing. It yep. Incredible. It's that oh, high wow. note. Okay, so if uh, what is the you know <laughs> what is the newest song that you can remember the title of? Mm. The newest song. The newest song, you mean like of music that I would normally listen to or what's popular? Whatever. The newest song that you know the name of. Oh, great. Well, <laughs> I, it would probably be something by Bruno Mars because that's probably yeah. the most recent person mm -hmm. I ever listened to. There's another one before that one. Oh, yeah. I got one. Sad yeah. enough. I do got away. <laughs> oh, oh. Away. Where am I? What the hell? What? I do love that song, Booker. No, I, I got one, and I have to recommend this to everybody. Black and white. You probably all know it already. This band, this sort of agglomeration of ridiculous musicians named Wolfpack. 
Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my God. You have got to watch, set yourself uh, an idle hour and watch their performance at Bonnaroo this year. It is, it is next level amazing. Really? And yeah, the only thing, the only thing is that they had that song Bean Town, yeah. which is, you yeah. know, the bass players thing, and it's supposed to be like, you know, their oh, version of like their take on Teen Town, even though it's not really. Mm -hmm. uh, and the thing is that they're trying to make him this innovator, and he ain't that. So mm -hmm. they, he's good. He's really good. Uh, Joe Dart, I think is his name. Yeah, Joe Dart. You know, they, yeah. they, they have a I, base that's all his and everything. Yeah, I knew of them, and I knew Corey Wong, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I just stumbled upon it, and I could not stop watching it. And so the newest song that I know the title of is from that. It's called Daddy's Got a Tesla. Okay. <laughs> there's, my there's my contribution aside from tonight. Wow, that's very, very 21st much. century. Well, you know, there's, there's all these things, all these groups that sound, you know, like typewriters when they're playing. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. you know, there's, there's dirty loops, which are pretty ridiculous. They are insane. Yeah, Snarky they're pretty puppy. Mm -hmm. Snarky puppy, I really like. Yeah, yeah, I like them too. Snarky puppy. That's because there's a really high level of of composition and arranging. Yeah, <laughs> and they, they change out players a lot too. Like they, they change out, yeah, because it's a collective. So the, yeah, they're never really. boring to me. It's a collective, so it's like it's Michael League's band and everything around him. You know. Yeah. And that thing that they did, uh, the family dinner records, and the first one has that thing where Layla Hathaway does that thing at the end of the song where she's throat singing, and so she's singing three-part harmonies with herself. Yeah. <laughs> Insane. Insane. It's Insane. Speaking of, speaking of, so singing no three-part harmonies, I have to turn myself back into color. My wife has is offering up the this is the lasagna. Mm, beautiful, Ooh. Lori. Nice job. Oh, Thank you. Yes. Bravo, bravo. Yeah. That means you're eating very soon, right? <laughs> yes, yeah. very soon. Like in two point four minutes. <laughs> We're gonna be hurled your way. Oh, well that's not supposed to happen. Uh oh. Stuff's going crazy, sorry. Whoa, wait, I'm still black. <laughs> no, God, I, you know, too many freaking buttons. I should not be allowed to have that many buttons. <laughs> too many buttons. To me. I have this, and it doesn't work. Never mind. Okay, Voltec is from Denmark. No. No? No. Voltec Music? Because people no. are asking what's no. the name of the band. Uh, it's it's V-U-L- Oh. -E Voltec. Yeah. V-U-L-F. P-E-C-K. -E yeah. Oh, and, and there they were there was a there was a review or an article that said the world's best comedy band who isn't a comedy band. Uh, I just I You mean it's not something with less less claypool in it? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean they're hysterical and in the middle of the show, they literally they they bring up a couple and marry them and perform a Jewish wedding. Oh the, my God! In the, in the middle of the show, and and they bring on and they they do like a whole klezmer section. It was I, I've never seen anything like, but not since Sly and the Family Stone took the stage at the original Woodstock have I seen insanity, that, huh? That kind of insanity and energy. Cool, I got to yeah. check it out. Yeah. Leslie West got married on stage. Yeah, Leslie got married at Woodstock. He did. <laughs> so guys, I got to go. See you later. Have a great gig, Buck. Right, see you later, Buck. That got that got rid of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Leslie got married. What the, see ya. <laughs> oh shit! Have, Have a good a weekend, gig, kids. All right, see y'all. Take care. Right, see you, uh, See everybody. Bye, Charlie. Come on. Come on. See you, Tom. Guys. Wow. Enjoy that I food, see you, there, everybody. See you, Steve. See you, Lori. See you, Jeff. Bye. 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 And then there was us. Then there was us. Then there was two.
Anyway. Okay, well, Angus will be here Tuesday night with his rewind. That's right, he's rewind. That's right. Angus is rewind. Oh, thank you, Joe. She's, oh, oh, really? <laughs> See, and then you can just let it have this one too, because this is going to. Mm -hmm. There you go. Have a great weekend. And if I don't see you in the future, I'll see you in the pasture. And we'll see you Wednesday. And Angus will be here Tuesday with the rewind. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Have a great weekend.